Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's good to see you again. I recently did an empties video where I showed you a um, hair gel that I had finished up. So if you missed that video or you don't know what I'm talking about, I will link it down in the information bar below so you can go take a look at it. But some of you have asked me to show you my updated hair care routine now that since I'm not using that anymore since my products have changed since that is gone so that's what I'm here today to do so I have kind of two different versions of of um, hair care this is my after shower hair care we're not gonna be talking about shampoo and stuff here we're just gonna be talking about the styling products basically that I use after my shower and I do shower and wash my hair every day um, my hair is very thin uh, it's, it's baby fine and there's not a lot of it and it just cannot, you just can't get a hairstyle out of it uh, the second day. And not only that, but, um, I, you know, I just feel gross. Even if I shower, usually by about 3 or 3.30, I can't take it anymore, and I will go back and shower again and wash my hair. So, <laughs> I do shower and, and do my hair every day. Um, okay, so the first thing I've been using, um, and I'm not going to do full reviews of these products. These are just to kind of show you what I'm using. And, you know, if there's any of these products specifically that you would like for me to talk about in detail, then if you could comment down below and, and let me know that, and that could be something I could do for a future video for you. But I'm just going to kind of give you the, the overview of, you know, what I use and how I use it. Okay, so the first thing I do while my hair is still wet is I've been using the um, Husk Essentials Repair That Hair Leave-In Spray. It's a 5-in-1 formula, it says. It conditions conditions and detangles. Okay, so it looks like this. Um, and so what you do is you shake this up and then you just spray it all over. And so I spray it all over and then I flip my head over and I spray some underneath. And then I take um, a, a small detangling comb. It's, it's basically like a tangle teaser that, that Avon sold for kids. Um, so I use that and I use a hair pick. So I start with the pick and I just run the pick through the top of my hair and that just basically kind of pushes the tangles that I have near my scalp sort of back to the ends. And then I use the little tangle teaser brush and I kind of work the tangles out of the bottom of my hair. Because you'll know if you have really fine hair, it tangles very easily. So um, this is what I use to kind of work the tangles out. So um, once I have the tangles out, this is for my everyday hair care routine. Um, and my everyday hair care routine is, the, is like, I'm not really styling my hair. I'm not, you know, this is just like a do something with the hair and go kind of thing. This is not a, oh, hey, I want to go out dancing and look all, you know, dressed up and whatever kind of thing. My everyday hair care is just, you know, get the hair done and go. So, um, what I've been using and what you saw me show you in the empties video is the Pantene Pro-V Curls version um, of the defining mousse in maximum hold it says it tames frizz shapes and defines curls now i left my hair natural today this is just literally air dried i did use this and kind of scrunch it through so what i do with this is i um you know i shake it first i get a palm full of it i flip my head upside down and i work it through you know the roots kind of around through here and then whatever's left over i kind of scrunch through the bottoms but because I need to slow down. I'm talking too fast. Usually that's all that I do, but my hair is so long now that I've actually been going back and putting just a little bit more in the palm of my hair and then working it, you know, through the ends just to make sure that I have some down through the ends too. You can see that my hair is naturally um, very wavy, sometimes curly. And I did kind of brush through the top so that the top wouldn't be quite so PC. Um, so it's a little more PC down here than it is at the top. That's why, because I did comb, I actually combed through it with a um, relatively fine tooth comb. But you can see that my hair really has like a natural wave, you know, and curl to it. Um, because it's so long, it does pull that out just a little bit. You know, these days it's a little looser than it would be if my hair were a little shorter. But my hair does have a natural, you know, some natural kink to it. And most people don't know that because usually if I'm doing my hair or a lot of times when I'm doing my hair I will 
um, blow it dry with a blow dryer and it, it's not a full blowout but I do kind of straighten it with a big round brush my hair only takes like two minutes tops to blow dry so I do kind of pull it through just here at the ends and then I just kind of blow dry all over and let it do what it wants to do but that does straighten my hair and then if I'm going to add any additional heat to it, I usually use a big fat curling iron and I just kind of run it through just to straighten it a little bit more. So most of the time my hair is straight because I did it on purpose. Um, and most of the time for my everyday hair care routine, I do straighten it that way. But because this Pantene Pro-V is for curls, I have been letting it be more natural. I have been skipping the hair dryer some days and just you know, letting it do what it wants to do, which is what I did today. Um, and a lot of times, you guys know, especially in the summertime, I throw it back in a bread just to keep it out of my face um, so it's not quite so hot, just the top. Or I just throw it back in a bread to keep it out of my face, whether it's hot or not, and I just go. Okay, so I've been doing that a lot lately and letting it air dry like I did today. But if I don't let it air dry, and I am blowing it dry, then I've been using the, um, I went back to the Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Leave-In Spray. This is not my favorite heat taming spray. I don't even feel like it's the most effective that's on the market, but every time I find one that I love, it ends up getting discontinued. A lot of times because it's kind of a more obscure brand or, you know, whatever, or they come up with a new or different version or what have you, and it's just not the same. And so I haven't found one recently that I really love, so I just kind of went back to the Tresemme because it's, um, you know, it's affordable and it was there. <laughs> it, it was actually the only heat taming spray. I went to my CVS and it was the only one that they actually were carrying at the time. So I really didn't have a choice. I mean, I could have gone to another store, but I've used this before. I know how it works, so I just went ahead and got it. But anyway, so if I am blowing my hair dry, then this is what I'm using. Okay, so that is my kind of everyday, you know, routine where I, I'm not worried about how I look. I'm not trying to be fancy. I just need to get ready and I have a limited time to do it most of the time and I need to get out the door. Okay, now I have a different hair care routine for days when I do care more about how I look or maybe I am getting ready to go out for, you know, a girl's night out or, you know, I just want to look nicer than usual or put a little more effort in than I usually do. So on those days, what I do is I still have been starting with the husk essentials. So I've still been putting this on first, the same way I told you the last time. Then what I do is I use, sorry, I have a little, do you see this hair? Mm. <laughs> Hanging on in my cuff. Um, then what I do is I take the Avon Advanced Techniques 360 Nourish Moroccan Argan Oil Leave-In Treatment for All Hair Types. It's a lot to say, huh? And um, I generally take one squirt of this, but because my hair has gotten so long here lately, I've been doing two squirts. I really only need like one and a quarter, one and a half. The two is a little, you know, put, it's pushing it for me, but you don't need very much of this. So one, two squirts if your hair is thick. Um, I rub it between my palms and I just work it through the ends. And, um, you know, usually from about like right around here down, like where you would grab your hair and you can get it in your fist, I just kind of work it through the bottom. And this makes my hair, especially when I straighten it, um, stay straight longer and not kind of start to kink back up. Um, it makes it smoother. Um, it makes it tangle less. You know, I can run my fingers through it easier and it just doesn't kind of tangle up on its own over the day as much when I use this. So I really, this is a product if you've never tried, I really, 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 really like this product. So I would highly encourage anybody to try it. I do have a link for my website below if you're interested um, in picking this up. So uh, if, if you don't have a representative already. Um, I really like this product and I probably should use it more often but this is sort of my do you have some products that you just save for when you just want to feel like you're doing something special for yourself that's this product for me <laughs> that's kind of this whole this whole version is is that day for me when I'm I feel like I'm doing something special for myself or I'm taking care of myself a little better or 
you know, whatever, making a special occasion out of it. And then my Holy Grail product, which a lot of people are going to be surprised about because it's not expensive, um, is the, the Clairol Herbal Essences Body Envy Volumizing Mousse. And this is number four. I've never seen any other numbers for this. Um, and it just says max, like maximum hold, I guess. Um, if your hair is like mine, there really aren't other styling products that really work well for it. Mousse is the way to go. And um, I do not like products that try to make the hair, the shaft of the hair thicker because I think they're damaging. Um, they either coat the hair and make it heavy, which makes it, does technically make it fatter around, which makes it seem thicker, but it also makes it heavier and it drags it down and, you know, it can, it can make your hair kind of dull over time, blah, blah, blah. Or it pulls the cuticles back, which also makes the hair, you know, seem thicker around each, each individual hair, but is damaging. I mean, it's, it's stripping the hair apart. I don't like those. I like, um, when I say I want volume or thickness in my hair, I don't want you damaging the strand, strands. What I want is lift at the roots, right? And then I want hold. I want something that holds the style that I put into it. That's what mousse does for me, both, both of those things. It gives me lift at the roots and it holds style. So it holds that lift and then it holds it. Like if I want to curl my hair, it holds that. If I want to straighten my hair, it holds that. Whatever, you know, whatever I want it to do, it, it holds that style. Without, I don't like to use hairspray at all, really. So, um, I mean, if I were doing a performance where I had my hair pulled back in a bun or something, I would spray down the baby strands, but it, it never stays. <laughs> But, you know, that's what I would use hair, hairspray for, but I'm not a big proponent of hairspray. Um, you know, this for me holds my style and, and allows me to have movement. So this is my holy grail. And, you know, whether I decide I'm curling my hair that day or whether I'm just straightening it, you know, like I might for an everyday look. Um, and I, but I just want it to look nicer. You know, this makes it, this makes it nicer, even if it's my everyday hairstyle of just straightening it with the big fat curling iron it looks better when I use this than when I use other products so to me that is still I still feel fancier when I'm done than I normally do and then I still finish it up when I'm blow drying with the uh, Tresemme Thermal Creations heat tamer leave-in spray okay so that is what I've been using for my hair whether I'm whether it's an everyday day or a let's get a little fancier day those are the products I've been using. And um, so if you have any more questions about any of them or if you want me to do a more detailed review uh, about, uh, you know, for any of these, then comment down below. If you like these videos, if you like to know kind of my updated routines videos, then be sure to give me a thumbs up as well so I know that you like these and you want me to keep doing them. And tell me how you're doing down in the comments because I just like keeping up with you guys because I feel, you know, you are my friends. <laughs> You're not my only friends. I have real life friends too, but you guys are my friends. So I like to keep up with you and know what's going on in your everyday life. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you as always, always for watching. Someday my tongue is going to start working for me, but apparently today is not that day. And I will see you guys next time.